How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falco, alias McDougal. Before I moved to the not-so-great white north, I was a capo in the mob. Crime's been in my family for generations. It all started with my grandpa's, Giuseppe. He was a shoemaker in the old country. Real handsome devil. Anyway, one day the village Don asked him to make a pair of shoes. The Don believed shoe size was a reflection of his manhood. His size for manhood. He could have drove a big car or bought a frickin' boat or something, but the guy wanted big shoes. What are you gonna do? Personally, I'd have blamed the whole thing on gravity, but gravity wasn't invented back then. So Giuseppe had to skip town. By the time he got to the next village, he was met by fear and respect. Dante Respect and Luciano Fear had a family that needed some muscle. Giuseppe just whacked at Don, so he seemed like a good fit. <laughs> All those years dealing with feet made him kinda homicidal, so Grandpops moved up the ranks pretty fast. Then, one day, he came to America. You mean he got run out of Italy? Point is, even though I'm living like a schmuck in Regina, I like to think he's looking down on me and smiling. And wondering why the hell you threw his family business down the crapper. You know what? Just forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. All right, scumbag. You think you can come onto my turf and just take what you want? Do you even know who I am? You got three seconds to get the hell out of here! Now, is that nice? I give you a chance to walk away, and you just laugh in my face. Did you just eat a condom? All right, enough screwing around. Say hello to my enormous friend! Yeah, that's right. Go home to your mother, you overgrown rat. Ugh. To conclude my show and tell, if a man at the park asks you into the woods to find his lost dog, remember, there is no dog. Good job, Mary. You go sit with Prudence the Safety Hippo. Gina, your turn. All right, let's get this over with. I want to talk about personal safety. There's a lot of creeps and weirdos out there. Not to mention stoolies, deadbeats, and guys who just don't listen. You gotta protect yourself. So, you're gonna need one of these. <gasps> She's got a gun! Relax, it ain't loaded. Now it's loaded. <laughs> All right, who took my facial stuff? No idea. Jesus Christ, you look like a 60-year-old avocado. Well, I took care of that raccoon. Sent him running with his tail between his legs. At least I think it was his tail. If not, you should see the wang on that rodent. Breaking news. Celine Dion Elementary is under lockdown after reports of a gunman holding a class hostage. That's Gina's school. Oh, my God. We gotta get down there right now. No can do. This stuff takes 20 minutes. Jimmy, we gotta go. We gotta... Where the hell's Jimmy? What are you waiting for? Let's roll! Good question, Billy. Personally, I like to go for the knees, but if you gotta take someone out, give them two in the chest and one in the head. After that, he ain't getting up no more. Okay, any other questions? <gasps> Besides, can I hold the gun? Aww. All right, we need firepower. Wanna take the Uzis? Nah, I don't want to look like a show-off. I hate to say it, but shouldn't we just let the cops handle this? You worry too much. We know what we're doing. Shots fired! We need guns, damn it! I'm filling out the requisition as fast as I can! Get your ass in there! And take some grenades! I can't remember which classroom's Gina's. I only been here once for interviews. And I was pretty drunk. Who? <laughs> There they go, Saskatchewan's finest. 
Fear not, Cookie. I came as soon as I heard. No time for pleasantries. I'd better get inside. But may I say, it's a glorious morning today. Damn it, McCool, there's no time. No sh. Get in there and save my daughter. For Canada, where we downplay our increasingly frequent gun violence. If there ain't any more questions, I guess I'm done. Oh. Ah! Gina, I've been looking all over for you. Oh, crap. You're the guy with the gun. Whoa, you brought shotguns? And a troll. This ain't good. We better beat it. Hey, McCool! You here for safety week? It appears you own a number of illegal guns, Jimmy. I'm going to have to conduct a thorough search of the premises. Do you have any idea the paperwork this is going to generate? Do you? You're blowing this way out of pro pro size Pop, this fell again. I told you it's too heavy to use as a curtain rod. Daddy, you left this in the bathroom. I almost dried my hair with it. Really? Both of you? Exactly now? Jimmy, I can't keep this under my mattress no more. Keeps poking me in my sensitive areas. Sweet Kiefer Sutherland, Jimmy. Why you gotta make such a big deal? It's just a few home security items. Just having that one within our borders violates the Geneva Convention. This is just like Chuck Heston warned us. One day the government's gonna show up and take all our guns. Next thing you know, we're in camps, getting brainwashed about evolution and global warming. I got a constitutionary right to bear arms. Yeah, you can't tell people what to do with their sleeves. Perhaps you possessed that right when you were American, but you're Canadian now. It's true, Pop. Canada's Charter of Rights and Freedoms does not protect gun ownership. Or as they say in Quebec, la Charte canadienne des droits et libertés ne protège pas la possession d'armes. I memorized it in both official languages. Now you're turning my own son against me. And you got him talking Spanish. Is this everything? You're not holding out on me, are you? Me? Hold out on a cop? Never! Then what's that slight bump on your waistband? I'm a little excited. Thanks for noticing. Lift your shirt, Jimmy. Is this how you get your kicks, McCool? You really ought to see a therapist. For Christ's sake, just hand it over! What? You too? McCool's right. Like it or not, we're Canadian. Don't you think it's time you assimilated? No! I've had this gun since I was ten. No one's taken Remington Steel! Hand it over, Jimmy. What if I don't? Then I shall be forced to arrest you. You'll be charged, tried, convicted, then remanded to jail. The days will be lonely and the nights long, until your cellmate, Rusty, sells you to the skinheads who run the yard. No amount of toilet-brewed prison wine will erase the memory of their oddly gentle love. You want this gun, McCool? You're gonna have to pry it from my cold, dead pants. Hands, Jimmy. I think you mean hands. Whatever, you're not getting it. I'm a responsible gun owner. Hey, where'd it go? I was just getting my rhythm. Ho oh, ho! Look who's back in town. Feeling strong today? Cause I got something for you. Oh crap. All right, let's do it the old-fashioned way. Put up your dukes, uh, claws. Hoofs? What do you call them foot hands? All right, which one is first? Well, kid, you really did it this time. They're gonna kick you out of school. Yes! Unless you take this medication. No! They're putting me on drugs? It's called a pacify. It reduces psychotic tendencies in children. Side effects may include dry mouth, disorientation, nausea, and increased thoughts of murder. Huh. Well, I'm sure they wouldn't prescribe it if it wasn't 100% safe. Tell that to Mr. Flip. His ma took thalidomide. Look how he turned out. Mr. Flip turned out just fine. It's not his fault he's a monster. I ain't taking him. I don't like this either. But if you don't, they'll take you away from us and send you to a special school where you gotta wear a helmet. You always told me drugs was bad. This is medicine. It comes from a nice man in a laboratory. Drugs come from a bad man on the street corner. You mean like the guys who used to work for Pop? Quit stalling, kid. Pill or helmet, your call. There. You happy? 
Your daughter's a freaking druggie now. Yeah, congrats! You just won Mother of the Year. Oh, God, I hope this is the right thing to do. Ah! Ah! Don't touch me with that thing! Ah. <gasps> I just got rolled by a f***ing raccoon. Ever since I got up today, I've been feeling off balance. And I got a persistent itch in my trigger finger. Don't you see, Pop? When you gave McCool your gun, you gave up an essential part of your American identity. You're right! Now I gotta steal it back. That's gonna be hard to do with no gun. Or you could finally embrace life as a Canadian. How the hell do I do that? By embarking on a long voyage of introspection and self-discovery. Self-discovery? Like what you were doing when I walked in here? No, I'm talking about a spiritual makeover. Did someone say makeover? What? My fashion sense was tingling. Jeans, jean shirt, and a jean jacket. It's a Canadian tuxedo. Ugh, these jeans are too tight. Ah! What was that? My balls just went back in. <gasps> and they're out. I still don't get why I'm tied up. I'm gonna teach you the most important part of being Canadian. You need to suppress your innate American urge for self-preservation and apologize to me. For what? Ow, your mother! It's the Canadian way. I wrong you, you say sorry to me. Ow! Ow! You're grounded. What are you doing? I'm using aversion therapy to turn pop Canadian. Thanks for grounding me last week. Thanks for taking away my makeup. Thanks for not letting me date a black guy. It wasn't racial. He was 40 years old. Oh. <sighs> Thanks, Petey. I feel a lot better. Sorry. Sorry. Really f***ing sorry. I believe we've made a breakthrough. What's going on, Petey? What's the big surprise? I present to you... Canadian Dad! I don't get it. He looks the same, except he's dressed as a village people. Go on, Pop. Say it. Sorry. No, the other thing. <sighs> Forget about it. Oh my god, he's a whole new man! This calls for a celebration. You're finally a real Canadian. I'm so proud of you. What the f***? Hi, Mommy! Hi, Daddy! Guess what? I did all my homework! You did your homework? Uh-huh. And then I cleaned my room, and then I cleaned Petey's room, and then Uncle Chichi and me had a tea party! Who wants Huggy Boos? Gina, you feeling okay? Petey made you Canadian, too? Oh, no, Daddy. It's because of the magic happy pills Mommy gave me. These rainbows are made of smiles, wishes, and good dreams. <gasps> Speaking of good dreams, I'm gonna skedaddle off to bed. Night-night! Wow, I guess that Apacify stuff really works. If you want me to babysit tonight, I'm gonna need a bottle of whatever she's on. Jimmy, you didn't yell at the parking guy for scratching the car, you didn't send back that pink chicken, and you gave the squeegee kid a loony instead of running him over. Frankly, I'm blown away by the new you. Hey, we're standing in line here. Those were our tickets. Jimmy, do something. I got it. Sorry my wife yelled at you. Ah, oh, hold this. Here's your purse back. Keep it. Looks better on you. Some night out. I really wanted to see that movie, but no, Captain Canada here had to drive those mooks to the hospital. You're the one who wanted me to be Canadian. The Jimmy I know would have taken apart those line jumping jag offs. Being Canadian doesn't mean you gotta let people walk all over you. I didn't let them walk all over me. I took the high road. Yeah, the high road to Warsburg. I wanted you to give up your gun, not your entire freaking manhood. What are you saying? I ain't a man no more? Because if you want a man, I'll show you a man. Come here, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, there's my big, strong man. There's those big, strong arms. And there's your big, strong... Your big, strong... Give me a sec. Where are you, big fella? Well, let me concentrate. Come on, come on. Come on, what's the matter with you? Up, 
Come on, Sozich. Sozich, not a meatball. Sozich, Sozich. <sighs> we could just cuddle. Tonight on TBS, Matthew McConaughey in Failure to Launch. <laughs> Hey, Jimmy, who died? What? I'm fine. You can't fool me. I know something's wrong. Spit it out. Well, I got this friend. See? He's having a little problem. Stop right there. Who's this f***ing friend? I thought I was your friend. Shut up. The guy's in trouble. You don't want to help? Get out of here. Okay, relax. I'm listening. All right, look. Not to get too specific, but let's just say my friend, who is not me, is no longer able to achieve or maintain a viable erection. Quit beating around the bush. What's your friend's problem? His ring-a-ding-ding's got no dung. Ooh, why you gotta be so graphic? Okay, I got this. Old Cheats knows a thing or two about a thing or two. You do? Oh, yeah. There's a simple solution. Really? Thank God. Tell your friend to blow his brains out. What? That's right. It's over. He ain't a man no more. Tell him to make a dignified exit. You'll be doing him a favor. Jesus, I was mad at the guy. Now I just pity the poor son of a bitch. <sighs> Hi, Daddy. Can I nudge in there and brush Mr. Chompers? Sure, kid. Whatever. Oh, who's a big glummy pants? Let's see a smile, Captain Frowns a lot. Mommy, Daddy's being a grumpy puss. What's going on in here? Daddy's sad, Mommy. Do you think we should give him some of my magic happy pills? Huh, Mom? No! Those are for you, and not for much longer. Run along now. I don't know about you, Jimmy, but that kid's starting to freak me out. Leave her alone. She's happy. What's wrong with you? A little girl ain't a little girl no more. Can't you see that? Hey, she's Canadian. What do you want? Now, excuse me, I gotta go pay protection to some raccoons. <laughs> What's wrong, Ma? Did you see Petey's internet history? Worse. He turned your father into a Canadian, and now he's... not himself. You probably don't want to hear this, but our walls are real thin, and I know you and Dad are having a... <coughs> intimacy problem. Oh, God, the thought of... <coughs> you listening? I know this is gonna sound wrong, but... <coughs> But I think I can help. Not another uh, word. Teresa, this problem runs a lot deeper than what Oh, you're talking about. Ma, he's an Italian guy. It don't go any deeper than that. You need to make him jealous. When one of my boyfriends doesn't pay attention to me, I flirt with someone else. You should do that. Jesus, forgive me for talking to my daughter about this. Let me get this straight. All I need is some stud to slobber all over me. Jimmy gets jealous, turns into the gorilla that he is, and everything's back to normal? Exactly. And then we never speak of this again? Yes. <laughs> Please. But first... <laughs> we're going to confession. Normally I wouldn't participate in such subterfuge, but seeing as it's for Jimmy, count me in. All right, when Jimmy walks in, we're gonna be on the couch smooching and canoodling. I'll be rubbing your muscles. Don't worry, it don't mean nothing. <laughs> you might want to lose the shirt and oil yourself up a bit, big guy. <gasps> Cookie, get a hold of yourself. It's been a few days. My hormones are raging here. I'll behave. <gasps> Quick, get on the couch. Uh, uh. Oh no, my husband has caught us in a compromising position. Surely now he will be so enraged he'll beat the crap out of my lusty paramour. What? No one said anything about- And sweep me off my feet, carry me upstairs, and make angry, righteous love to me. Cook, what are you doing? Or he could skip the beaten up part and go straight to the hot, crazy baboon loving. Look, it's real sweet of you to try and snap me out of this, but you don't gotta debase yourself with this greasy Latin hustler. Jimmy, it's me! Uh Silencio, muchacho! This is between me and my wife, who I can no longer pleasure. Snap out of it! All of this because you had to give up your stupid gun? The gun was the last thing I had from the old life. I used to be Jimmy Falcone, king of New York! Now I gotta accept that I'm Jimmy McDougal, king of the schnooks. Jimmy, you're a lot of things. A good breadwinner, 
a loyal husband, a totally half-assed father, but you'll never be a schnook. Cook, that's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. And I wish it was true. Oh, for God's sake, he's killing me here. What do I gotta do to get through to this guy? Jimmy Into McDougal, fire, former fire, man. Gina, tracks. slow down. Jump into a lion cage? Put the kids in danger? What's that, Gina? You're in danger? Fire. What do I do, McCool? Tell me. I gotta get down to the school. Where's he going? What the hell just happened? I don't know, but this spray tan is giving me a tremendous rash. <laughs> Long enough to get down here, you moron! Oh, what's with you? Why are you being so mean? I thought you was on them good girl pills. I never took those stupid pills. I've been faking it the whole time. What? Why? To get Ma off my freaking back! I've been dumping the pills in the teacher's candy dish, and Prudence, the safety hippo, got into them and went nuts! Hang on a sec, I'm not following. What's a hippo got to do with safety? <laughs> That is one angry, angry hippo. Come on, you son of a bitch. Whoa, I think you killed them. You think? Let's make sure. Come on, yeah. one more. Okay, one for me, yeah. one for you. Yeah. Oh, that felt good. All right, kid, I gotta go. You be good now. Good? I mean, you be you. Will do. You know, I kind of feel bad for the kid in that suit. Suit? Jimmy, what happened? I deserve that, Jimmy. Oh my god, you're you again! Did you get a gun or something? Oh, I got one, baby. And it's made of wood! La 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 la